people. Sort of like talking about pets and stuff like that, and reptiles, you know, keeping pets. We can highlight a few different species that you can get through the, the zoo. And what's really good about that is um, you can talk about native species too, because they have a bunch of them. Absolutely, yeah, we can do that also. I mean, that's why I have PowerPoint presentation for all that stuff, stuff that I've done at Brielle Nature Center and stuff. So I can definitely prepare for that if we can set something like that up. The other thing is the Bronx Zoo, even though I don't have the connection there anymore, I think we can get a meeting set up there where they'll, they have the education room. They'll give us, they'll, you know, they'll have a meeting, you know, they'll give us a lecture on something and then possibly bring us in and have a talk there. But this is something that if we're gonna plan it, I don't want to plan it with them if people can't make it to the Bronx and don't want to go. Mm -hmm. And that's, 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 that's my, that's our, that's our issue. You know what I mean? Is getting people there. Are they charging so, for that um, I don't know if they're going to charge. It depends. Uh, it depends on what I told them. Didn't they want money last time? No, that was the Philadelphia Zoo. The Philadelphia Zoo wanted us to pay $40 a person to yeah. have a back, you know, backstage uh, tour there. But it's, I, we got it for free last time. Because the guy was really nice. So, I promise it. But, um, yeah, as far as that's concerned, we'll continue to work on that. I mean, Leslie and Fred, if we could all, Doug, we could talk to, um, I think you said you were going to talk to Frank Soloma, so. We need these ready. We just got to get a date from Okay. I mean, he could even do it next month if he wanted to. I am at home. Or even, actually, maybe in the, the warmer weather, too. Is he going to do, is he going to bring stuff? Yeah, he doesn't have a whole lot now. He's probably helping out with that. He just started to build his collection back up. He did, uh. A shoot for that new uh, Angelina Jolie movie coming out soon. Really? Yeah. Wow. He did a, a. He got to hang out with her. He gave him spiders from my job, but they end up just in cages in the background. And the spiders that actually shot for the movie were caught in my basement. Wow. So, really? Yeah. Those spiders. Okay. What the heck is in your basement? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> 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 I know for Christmas. <laughs> He should have filmed the arachnophobia in his house. Yeah. <laughs> he does have cool spiders on his front porch. The ones in the basement are That's how it's been when I They hurt. Yeah, but yeah, I'll talk to him. I'll find out what's good for him. Just All right, cool. Um, the next thing I want to talk about was the, the expo that's coming up. Uh, we're going to plan it again. This is, this is like we've, we've done it a few times. We've had it. The first time we did it, we had a great turnout. Second time we did it was okay. Um, third time was an amazing turnout. We had over 200 people come in that day for four hours. They had a meeting, um, a board meeting with the friends of Blue Heron, and the people at the meeting were so shocked that we were the ones to bring in the most people ever here. They couldn't believe that so many people came to that expo. Um, and everybody in this room has, has participated with, um, with that, which is good. And we want to continue with that. We want to continue to have more people participate because it's a fun day. Um, I never have to ask people twice. I know Clay's done it, Al's done it, Doug's done it, Leslie's done it. Al's helped us out before with it too when, he, when he's off on the weekends because I know you work on the weekends and it's tough. But every, when we do it, it's so much fun. You came down last time too. You helped out with the last one. So that was a bad turnout. Yeah, it was. Kind it was of just, it was a bad month. I mean, I think we found nice out day. what months stink. You know, we got to do it early May like we did the first, the, the best time we ever had was early May, and I think November, the beginning of November was another time that we had a great turnout. So, the first thing is we have to pick a good day, which this year we're going to shoot for the beginning of May again. Yeah, we have the two target dates that we're looking at right now are Sunday, May 2nd, or Sunday, May 16th. Which is the week before or and the week after Mother's Day. So, what does everybody think? Second, sixteen. Show of hands. Second. second. The second sounds good to me. I mean, and yeah, because then they have time to buy mom something. It's dangerous. Yeah, we can buy mom something. Stay That's what I get every year. Don't get the dress for Father's Day. In hard times. Nice. I get a snake from a oh, dress for Father's Day. Cool. That's, That's a little more than I want to know about you, Doug. <laughs> 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 we trade. Well, who picks it up, though? <laughs> you know, and, and actually, last, the last time, even though the turnout wasn't that great, 
what we found out was oh, we had a really great uh, turnout outside mm -hmm. with the tortoises and the box turtles out there. And uh, yeah, that was great. So if clay, if the weather's warm enough, I don't, I don't think it will be to do it outside. But it's possible we could do it in here, have a tortoise pen out there. We're gonna have to have somebody attend to it. Well, you got the pen now too, right? We have the pen because right. uh, dog actually worry, at work had a ferry pen. pen. That no one that no one ever bought or used, and they they were just gonna credit it, right? Get rid of it. So he gave it to us, donated it to the club. So now we have a pen. We can put it out either outside on the grass or out in the front here in the room, cool. and we could have just the tortoises. We could even do it in the middle of the room here, because now sure. that they don't have the rug. Because before we had the rug, you know, we want to put tortoises down because you know what happens when the sulcata starts eating. <laughs> it's usually yep, it's explosives. <laughs> <laughs> so now that we have a nice, you know, a nice tile floor, we can actually do that in the room, right in the center. Um, but then again, it could be a nice day, and we could do where, wherever. It, we have options. Yeah, no, we have. That's exactly it. We we can plan it closer to the day. But this year, what we're gonna do is we're planning it now. We're getting the date. They're gonna put it in their magazine, the Nature Center, so that we can get the date out there. The biggest thing we need is advertising. Is there anybody, like, anybody, have places that they can advertise this? I mean, we've done pet stores, um, veterinarian offices. You put it on cars in the mall. That's illegal. Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, but they do it anyway. I know. So are the snakes, but, you know. Wait, what is, what is, um, at the mall? illegal stuff last year. Oh, you. Never mind. Did you? Yeah. Bring out the legal Yeah, we have all those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Oh man, it looks good the parent magazine. Uh, that I always do. That I have, I, I've gotten that in the parent magazine. Because in a lot of kitty places, it's free, and the people take them as they leave, and I get can, a lot of them. I can get it in CSI. Can you? Yeah, I got a, a friend who's a teacher. Awesome, that would be great. CSI? Yeah, he gives it, and he works on science and all. That works. What about, um, anyway, interested in hearing about bats and stuff like that? I know somebody yeah, who bats. Yeah, cool. Definitely. I mean, it may not be reptiles, but oh, maybe well, people get great. a little tired here about this. Yeah, yeah. I got a guy who raises fruit bats in, oh, in Jersey. Cool, yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. cool. Yeah. And he has a lot of other weird uh, creatures and stuff. So maybe cool. he's a great. I talked to him. I don't know what he gets. I mean, oh, I don't even know. I'm a good friend with him, so maybe he'll throw some more. <coughs> What's his name? Joe. Joe. Don't ask me what his last name is. Joe Bats. Joe Bats. Joey Bats. Joe Lugosi. Right. It's not like he's from Brooklyn. Joey Bats. That's how he's in my cell phone. Joey Bats. Hey, yo, wait. Keep him away from my knees, all right? He was the original singer for Skid Row. He was? Yeah, and so they booted him for Sebastian Bach. He's got him with wow, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. But I don't think they would have won anyway, because he can't sing like Sebastian Bach. Yeah. So. That's why he's doing it. He does, he's a, in, a, in, a, in a, like a back conservancy and stuff like that. That's awesome. I know, that's pretty cool. Maybe, I mean, we may have to wait until it gets a little warmer. Yeah. He'll bring, he'll bring the cage down the back. Sweet. That's cool. license for all this fun. So we don't have to worry about any yeah. just problem with like that. <laughs> we'll find out what else you can bring. I mean, it has some reptiles there, yeah. some bugs there. Yeah. Find out what else he does. That's cool. I'm all specialty for that. Is back. Now, all right. Just to get back to the the expo, so we don't um, you know, go off track. The is everybody in here willing to help? Everybody like with the expo. Like here's what we need. Like let this time we need like a liaison. We usually just have not you, Deb. Thank you're, you. Not <laughs> you're definitely not friendly enough. I want to make sure people the expo. She has the look. I want to kill you when people walk in. So. I want to make sure people the expo. Hello. Sure. I want to show people. We're gonna work. We're working on t-shirts. I'm working on that. Um, now, if we don't get t-shirts, what we can do is we can get special. Um, polo shirts made up. If we can get patches done with the, the logo that we have now, yeah, if we can get those patches made, we can get um, actual polo shirts with a patch on them, which would also be nice okay. uh, if we could do that. Um, now, the thing with the expo is we're going to set up a table outside this time. Somebody's gonna, we're going to have rotations. We were talking about the other night. We'll set up some kind of rotation, whether it's a table outside with some information about the club, uh, information about what we're doing here, what we do you know, during the, the year trips and stuff. 
Uh, maybe we would even discuss maybe having a display animal on there just before people come in, you know. And basically it's going to be someone that can...